Hey guys, this is Kevin from Teleco South Florida, gardening expert for the camera software. I'm going to go ahead and you're going to double click this icon. It says gardening expert client. This will be the first page that it brings you to. It'll come up and it'll tell you your network status, your hard drive status. Where you need to go from there is you're going to go to control panel. This will be your main hub screen that you're going to work off of and you're going to mainly use this tab, it says main view once you click main view it'll take you to this screen right here any of the DVRs you just added will be right here so you see we just did DVR2, that's right here you can actually expand it and drop them individually into each location or you can grab the entire folder and drop it into an open field and it'll populate all of the cameras that are on that DVR for you Alright, once you have the cameras populated, you can jump between them, you can double click on them to expand them, and if you right click, it'll give you a menu with a couple different options. Stopping live view is just going to cancel the camera and you're not going to see the video anymore. The one that you'll probably use on this page the most is going to be open digital zoom. You click open digital zoom and it'll change to your magnifying glass. You're going to draw a square around anything you want to magnify, let go, and it will zoom in on that, that feed. Alright. Then you got to right click again to close digital zoom. Now you're just back to your regular screen. Down here at the bottom right you'll see there's a camera. If you focus in over it, it'll say capture. And there's also a record button. If you see something going on on the screen that you want to take a picture of, you can press that camera and it'll just take a still frame shot of that one segment. If you look towards the bottom, it'll show you the file path right down here. If you click on that, it'll actually open the file path. Then you can drop it into your desktop or, or a C drive or whatever you'd like. Same thing goes with the record. You press the record button once. It will start recording any of the footage that's on this camera. And then as soon as you get what you want, you press that record button again. It will stop the recording. And once again, it will give you the file path where it saves that video file. And here's where it saved the video file. It automatically, when you do a video file, saves just a screenshot of right when you started doing the video file record and then this is the actual mp4 which is the video alright you can double click to get back to all of your cameras again one of the other main functions you guys are going to be using is going to be remote playback once again if anything's not up here you can click on control panel to take you back to this main screen remote playback is going to be right here if the control panel tab is not there you can click on view at the top left and then your control panel, main view, remote playback, everything will be listed there. As soon as you select it, it'll put one of the tabs up here for you for quicker access. The best way to do remote playback is this little calendar option up here if you click it. The anything that has a date with a blue hash in the, in the side is what you have recorded. So depending on your DVR, you may have a month's worth of recording, two months, a week, uh, will all depend on uh, the size of the hard drive. But if you go to your day, let's say we pick yesterday, you'll do an end time, or your start time, I'm sorry. And then you will do end date, same day, and keep that as your end date. Press OK. And then pick a camera that you want. Okay, so it'll launch that camera with those exact time frames. If you have a closer time frame all the way over here, this will give you the same breakdown and it breaks it down by events. So you can press the play button and it will automatically launch that segment. And take that one, do the same thing. If you are only looking at the one camera, you can double click on it to expand it. You can actually launch multiple cameras as well. Just drag and drop it in. It will look through the exact same time frame. And right now they are unsynchronized as you can see. Down here at the bottom left you have two different options. This one on the right is actually to auto sync your footage. 
and right now as you can see it's not auto sync so you click auto sync and you see it brought both of them back to the same time frame So let's say you want you're looking at this and you need to take a segment out. If you want, you can actually go through the hash marks at the bottom as a timeline. You'll see the time up at the top, and as you scroll over it in red, that'll actually tell you the time that you're about to select. So you can do it from here too. All right. So once again, just like we did in Live View, you do have two options down here when you're in playback. One is just to capture a still shot picture, and then the other one is recording. The easiest way to take off of a remote playback, if you need this segment, is to click your record, and it will start recording what's on your screen. As soon as you have the incident or the event that you need recorded, press that record button again. It'll stop it it'll show you the file path down here if you select that file path it'll take you to where it's saved and like I said it, it automatically does a still shot and then it does your mp4 which is actually your video file you can take this and drop it onto a thumb drive your local C drive and anywhere you'd like to store you can put it on your desktop um, just make sure you know when you're viewing this video it is mp4 so if you're having a problem a Windows Media Player usually launches uh, it doesn't launch the MP4.